I checked this right. So I had the choice to go up to like Haley or something in, in Idaho to go meet Alex or to go to Sasquatch. So I rolled the Sasquatch, but I gave my mom a painting to give to him and she actually met him. So like she goes and she meets him or whatever. And I'm like at Sasquatch and I roll up and where I'm camping at, I meet a brother who's from uh, Beham who Riley knows. Um, who well, I met at Costa Rica again. Blake? Um, <laughs> no, Blake was there too, but, uh, Denali, homie and brother from there. So, like, and I saw him and Riley and, but I don't even know if they knew that they were each other were there, but I didn't know that, uh, Alex was at Envision, but, so I guess he was there. <laughs> but then I went to San Francisco, and right when I got to San Francisco, it was, like, almost 4.20, and then he, uh, uh, Alex Gray was at Bicycle Day at Beats Antique and someone came out with a free ticket and I almost got it. I was like, yo, I want it, dude. Like, I want to go in. And someone just like fucking ran up and like took the free ticket or some shit. Dude. And then fucking, I was like, whatever. Alex Gray was in Beats Antique? Yeah, and I was like, whatever. I'm not meant to meet him yet. And so like, I just kept going and I found like, uh, this really nice like doorway to sleep in, you know, because I was a homeless bum at that point, you know, just came from fucking Columbia. No, I'm homeless. That's what I do. It was dope. But so I snuggled up inside the corner of this fucking door well and I fell asleep and I was like, that's weird, you know, the prophecy. And I'm just thinking about this all this weird shit. And then fucking Yeah, I'm just like, I have no clue that I'm gonna meet up with fucking anybody or anything. I'm just like going. And so I like shut up and I get to Oh yeah, I was in San Francisco. Uh, and I shred up to like Golden Gate a couple days later after I get food stamps and stuff. Uh, that this guy, like, really helpful guy, like, helped me out with. And so I blast over from San Francisco, like, on the Golden Gate Bridge with 22 people across the bridge. And at the end, we get the 23rd person in the fucking bus with 78 cents in my pocket in that boot, dude. And we had three dogs and a fucking puppy and a fucking record player bumping the Grateful Dead in a fucking bus, dude. Hella dope. And then so we romp up. We get to Arcata a couple hours later. Maybe it was like a day or two, I don't even remember, dude, we were in a bus. And uh, it was all crazy blur. And then uh, we get to Arcata and we're like camping inside the Redwoods and stuff, and it's hella buck and really cool, and yeah, so I camped in the Redwoods, and then, and then check out this part of the prophecy, this is the weirdest part, I think, that so far has spiraled, besides the whole Wenatchee crew and all this weird stuff. I'm in Arcata, and my homeboy, who has a three-year-old daughter, is there, named Rye. And I look up and I see my friend Ty, who I haven't even seen Rye yet before yet, right? I'm just like chilling in the street. And I look up and see this homie named Rye. Right? I mean Ty. I see Ty. And I'm like, dude, what's up? And he's like, yo, what's up, Ply? Like, how you doing, dude? I'm like, dude, like, what? How are you here right now, dude? Like, last time I saw you, you are back in fucking B-Town. And he's just like, dude, yeah, like, you know, I'm Whoa. here. Whoa! Like, yeah. Wait, where were you? I was in Arcata. In Oregon? No, in uh, Cali. Oh. Arcata. I don't know where that is, but... It's in Cali. And, and so... so you, is California from Bellingham? No, my homie Ty, dude. A whole other homie from my hometown. Oh. Randomly in Arcata at two random times. And then he's like, my, fr my homie Ty was like, Yo, dude, what's up? Ply. And then he's like, yo, guess what? Rye just got in town. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? And he's like, yeah, you remember now? Like, what the fuck? Hella weird, huh? Hella weird, huh? And then check this out. So I like, I peace out on that same bus that I showed up in. I peace out out of town to go to Eugene, right? But then this other car goes with us and we camp or whatever. And then these three homies that are like tweakers, like they jump, uh, they bail ship and want to go back to Arcata. And I'm like, fuck it, I'll go with you guys and see you later. And so I just like flow the plan, whatever, and I go back. And uh, Rye had left down to like this other part of town. Or like to down like, he left, Rye left, and I never got to see him, right? So Ty was there, he found me. I was the guy wandering. And Rye left down south, and I just came north. So we just missed each other, right, in Arcata, in the Trinity. <laughs> And then, all of a sudden, I'm chilling there for like a week, he comes back, and I find him, 
And then I meet this girl who has another bus who's down to take us all the way to Shasta and back to Boise, my hometown. Whoa. For no money or not. Whether I not I have money or not. And I, we still like help out each other and chill and we're doing it. We fucking she's from your hometown? No, she's from Colorado. Random girl. She has a bus that's light, registered from Louisiana. <laughs> and it's a short bus and she has two dogs. One named Opal. Another one named Freya, and her back legs gave out, and I started putting energy work in her, and she walks again now. Yeah. The prophecy dog. Anyway, so we roll up to Shasta, and she hands me a bag of mushrooms, and she's like, go remember the prophecy. I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? And so I rub up under this tree, and I'm chilling. And then I get back to Boise, and I hit up Riley, and they're just like, dude, come over here. And I'm like, dude, I'm hella down. I'm going to come over there as soon as I can, okay? And then I'm like chilling in my hometown, it's hella lame. Everyone's like, oh, dude. Yeah, that's right, Boise, fuck you. No, I'm kidding, I love you guys. I'm over here, but ah, this video's gonna go out there anyways. You guys will be like, what the fuck, you're an asshole. <laughs> but seriously, dude, what the fuck? Anyways, I was robbing my hometown, and then everyone was like, fucking, some homies were kicking it hella hard, and I was chilling with them, and I was like, yeah, what's good? And then some homies were like, hella whack, and you know, whatever, that's cool, you know, fuck you guys. And then we fucking were rompolating through the fucking whole entire percolated forests of the entire interweb cosmos of the interrelated tree intergroves of the majestic paradigm. And then where were we at? Prophecy. Um... Fucking, I swooped around hella quick in the dream, and what did I see? Uh, Riley was like, dude, you should hit up home brother, dude, because he's fucking hella trilling and he's kind of near you. And so I hit him up. I don't know. And then I was just like, yo, dude, and like, we were, he's like, dude, I'm coming to get you. And I was like, what? He's like, dude, I got my car, dude, like. (laughs) Ma- Mama's whip is fucking, you know, toasted, fucking Dude, posted up. fucking car is yeah. full of books. It's and books and bad, crystals and dirt. Bad. It's so Dude, tight. He's like, such a badass. Full of books. He, so books? Yeah. Really? he just shows up at my house, dude. Like, He's dope. No, okay, so check it out. Okay, with the whole prophecy part. So me and Rai... Oh, the, oh that's, so I'm, I'm throwing all sorts of stuff. So yeah, me and Rai meet back up, and we go back to Boise. And then, like... He makes it back to his three-year-old's daughter's birthday, dude, because I came back and manifested that bus for him, and he is, like, being kind of stingy and saying, you didn't manifest that bus for me. I was like, do whatever. I don't want to thanks, dude. Just be happy you made it for your daughter's birthday, honey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, love you, Rye. And then, so we're balling out, and we're flying down uh, north now, and then he, um, I'm chilling in Boise, and he swerves over, and he collects me, and it's hella dope, and then we're like... Posted at my house, and Josie's at my house. The dogs are there. Like, uh, my the uh, Josie's the girl that had the bus. This girl, Alexa, who was from my hometown that was with Rai, she, she was chilling at my house because she didn't have anywhere to stay either. And then, um, the homie, Jerry, my cousin, August, and then me, we were all like chilling there for a minute at my cripple. She was like setting up her bus to go to Colorado and stuff. And so he swerves over, we're chilling, and then he's like, yeah, dude, I'm super down. And so, like, I just, like, pack up a couple random things and swerve over to Wenatchee, and I'm like, yo, what's up? And then Spring Fair happens, and then boom, and that's, like, eight minutes. That's, like, a pretty short story, like. <laughs> like uh, that's pretty crazy, huh? Like, I was great, dude, like, I almost met him three different times. Like, almost, literally. Like, my mom painted and talked and chilled with him. He got one of my paintings. He was in a vision, I didn't even know it, and I got in there, magically. And then, also, I was at Bicycle Day at in San Francisco, at Beats Antiques, my first time in San Francisco ever. Almost near 420, like right before 420. Wait, when were you in San Francisco? Right before 420, dude. This year? Yeah, like literally okay. just there. A second oh, ago. You were just there, yeah. yeah, and oh, he was man. there, and then someone came out with a free ticket and was like, yo, does anyone go in? And I was like, dude, I like just got here for this, dude. Like, holy shit. It was be- that would have been my third time to have met him, dude. Think about that. But it was so epic, and now I'm fucking. You guys would have been homies for I sure. Know, dude. You would have followed through with me and all those things. I know, dude. I felt like a fucking dumbass, dude. I've loved his work ever since I was a little kid, dude. Like, I was paying stuff like that dude. Well, as close as I could to it when I was young and then he showed me like what was capable at like my un- like my older age and I was like, oh my god, dude, do you see my dreams, bro? Like, Dude, <laughs> that one with the tree, the 
Cheating All of it, forever? dude. Yeah. <laughs> that one for sure. With the like, two halves. The, the faces, the tree with all the faces that goes on forever. Yeah, there's a couple of those ones. It's, it's his, one of his two, most famous ones. But does he have two halves where it's like death and fucking destruction no, of the animal no, kingdom? No, 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 it's all like, it's all repetitive. So 